Hello! I hope everything is going super awesome with you. It is Wednesday today. I'm having my tea in the kitchen and I thought today's a good day to make some progress on the kitchen. I'm going to be honest with you. I have a plan for the counters, the backsplash, and the kitchen island so far. More plans probably to come, but I have those plans. And I keep putting them off because the ambiguity of how it's going to turn out is overwhelming to my brain. So today I was going to start with the backsplash and just like start with it. And I did do a little test for the backsplash. It's like a couple step process. So I did like one step as a little test and I set that aside. So I did that check, you know, for my ADHD brain, check. But I thought what would be a good idea to tackle today specifically is the countertop because yesterday I got a package. Actually, I got a series of packages that I ordered from Amazon US delivering to Canada because limited availability of products in Canada, okay? But a little hack for you, if you're in Canada, you can go to the amazon.com, switch to the United States, switch to deliver to Canada and you'll see different products. Anyway, I digress. I found contact paper, I ordered it. I ordered a bunch of them and it arrived yesterday. Um, so I wanna open them up and potentially put it on to lighten the countertops. You feel me? I think I mentioned a couple videos ago that the countertop color is okay and matches well with the pine cabinets. And previously there were nickel doorknobs, cabinet knobs, and all of it matched pretty well together, but I don't like that I can't see if there's dirt on the countertop just because it's this, I don't know what you would call this actually. Brownish, greenish, it's not marble. I don't know what it is, like a ter ter terrazzo kind of thing, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to grab the packages from the front door area, open them up, and then we'll see what we're working with. I hope it's as good as what I'm envisioning. We'll just have to see. Mmm. Love my tea. Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without rulers. Are you ready to change? We could be kings and queens every day. On the road, we are brave. Okay, so this is the contact paper that I picked out. Um, it's like a white faux quartz, if you will, or a white faux granite. People said from far it looks like a white quartz, but I think maybe like a white kind of granite kind of thing. Um, they've done a decent good job at making it look dimensional. I mean, we'll see how this looks. It's definitely gonna brighten up a lot more than what currently is there in my opinion. So I think it'll be good. Plus, I think I might do something with the floor in the kitchen as well. And this will go well with that color combo, I think. Oh, these, the little rolls were pretty affordable to my recollection, like $6 per roll. So I got a couple of those. I did the math and it was a struggle. I did see in some of the reviews that sometimes the color wasn't the same across rolls. So I'm just like praying that they're all the same. To me, they're looking the same. I think. So I ordered two long ones, like a so. So these are substantially bigger than these ones. What I wanted to do with this was make sure that the color that I picked was a neutral color. It wasn't too blue tone and it wasn't too yellow toned. And I believe this satisfies that. So shall we? I think we shall. I've got some on my mind. Casual earplugs, you know, for whenever they're needed. A bit creepy. Yep. Oh, and this is that greenery arrangement that I haven't properly set into this or in any vase, because that's how I go. And now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin.
did like the wipe with soap and water. And now I'm gonna use the sponge, soap, and then wipe away with water, then dry it. Then we'll be good to go. Castles out of sand, reaching for the So I did do like a couple other washes just with water to get all the soap off and now I'm drying it off with paper towel. Shout out to Bounty, as usual, my favorite, like a cloth, very absorbent. What else can I say? Okay, so I am going to get started. Now, there is drilling happening next door and I hope that you can't hear that because I certainly can. Hopefully. It's not too bad. If it is, I sincerely apologize and I hope that it will end soon. So I am going to start off on this side of everything, of the counter, <laughs> if I can open this. And I am a little bit nervous. <laughs> I didn't think about it At first I thought whatever, yeah At first I thought I'd work around it I'd work around it But you turned out to be so different yeah, you turned out to be nothing like them I changed my mind and got behind it I got behind it I'll let you take my breath away Pick me up like you're my airplane They are absolutely not the same color tone. Now I don't know what to do. Snap. Good morning. It is now tomorrow. Hope you like my dress. Do you recognize it from yesterday? Because it's the same dress but in a different pattern and actually I have the same dress in like four patterns because that's who I am. <laughs> but anyway, I stopped yesterday pretty much at here. I did not proceed with anything more other than like that first bit that we did on the other side. I can't remember if I highlighted fully 100% what was going on with the different types of contact paper but I noticed that the wider roll of contact paper was a different tone than the narrower one, which I thought was really weird. I probably should have stopped, but instead I was like, whatever, let's just start with the short one on this side. And then maybe I can have make do with like the longer ones till there and the shorter ones till here. And I think I ordered like way more than enough contact paper. Clearly my measurements that I did late at night, one night were incorrect because I'm probably gonna have too much, but I wanted to show you the weird thing about the counter that I, had, that I did notice and that concerns me ever so slightly, but 
When you look at the actual roll of contact paper, it looks a little blue toned, but the white looks warm toned. So I thought that would be fine, because when I actually look at it, it looks great on the roll with the white backing. When I put it on the counter though, it seems to go more blue tone, or maybe it's just that it's like this darkness underneath it, which pulls it for some reason, a little bit more blue. I don't know why, I don't love that. I wish it was a little bit more warm tone like it looks on the roll. Do you see how like that's a more yellow tone compared to this, which is more of a blue tone? It's a bit odd in my opinion, but there's definitely a color shift difference. I, I guess it makes sense when I was looking at the pictures on Amazon, there's like thousands of reviews for this specific contact paper and some of the photos look super white and bright with like a more neutral undertone. And I would imagine those would be the ones that have like a base counter that's maybe white. Yeah, with anything dark, it's definitely pulling a little bit blue. I think I'm just gonna carry on though and apply the rest of it and then make a call because I have it. I already opened the rolls. It applied really nicely. So I think that's just what I should do. So let's carry on. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Okay, so it is now 3.20. <sighs> this is tiring doing this by yourself. If you do this, get yourself a helping hand to assist and it will go a lot faster than it's going for me. So. What I'm going to do next is finish this side and then I'm going to put everything back or like some stuff back and I will show you the final final and I'll also give you my final thoughts. So last section, here we go. So for some reason, I cannot explain. The inside corner was very hard to do. So I ended up cutting it here. This is one piece, just this one little strip. And then I'm gonna put one piece here and one piece here. And you know what, it's in the corner. So no one's gonna know. No one's gonna be able to tell and it's okay. So I got my little piece here. Anyone gonna be able to tell back there? No, at least I hope not. <laughs> okay, last piece. Okay, it is extremely hot and I am sweating. The sun is beating in and it's like creating summer vibes even though there's snow outside. But I can't complain too much. I do like that. That's my preference over the alternative of just feeling cold. So I have put the last little piece on. The whole countertop area, which I'm realizing there's a lot of counter space here. So no wonder it took me as long as it did. But it's all done. It's ready to go. A few things to mention. One. If you have a white counter, I think the contact paper will show up as a brighter white and as a more 
yellowy white. Because mine are dark, I do think it pulls a little bit darker. I overlap some of the seam lines a little bit and those ones are more obvious than if you just butted them up against each other perfectly. Like if you had two people, you could probably bud them up against each other to perfection and then you would have no line. Literally, you wouldn't be able to see it. The pattern does such a good job at camouflaging it. It's not the pattern that makes it so that you can see some of the seams. It's only like the, the physical overlap of the 3D, but it's not obvious, it doesn't bother me. So yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Let's see the full reveal of the countertops. Okay, are you ready? The new counters, you guys. Look how bright they are. I think this is such a nice upgrade to the space and super affordable to do as well. I definitely think that this changes things immensely. Like it made this area so much brighter. I do think that the tone of it, like I mentioned, I wanted it a little bit warmer, but it works. I also think it's gonna work with the backsplash and I think it's still gonna work with the floor option that I'm considering in here. I hope it comes across on camera, like how much brighter it is in here. It just like whoosh, changed the whole place so much. And now I can at least see if there's like a spill on here or whatever, there's something, I can clean it. It's all good. Obviously the speckled granite look isn't my favorite just because, just because, if I have spilled pepper on the counter, will I be able to see that the pepper's on the counter? Questionable. At least I can see like at least a bit of what's going on on the counter. So I love this. And this makes me super excited to tackle the next steps for the kitchen. So, yay, very pleased. I actually thought about doing this since before I moved in and I found this exact contact paper probably six weeks before I actually ordered it. Just the epitome of indecisiveness. I'm just glad that I trusted the process and that it came through like this and it brightened everything up and it worked out and all my worries were for nothing. So, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next week. In next week's episode, I'm not sure what video is going live next week, but whatever it is, I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.